They say it's what's on the inside that counts. This may be true, but our outward appearance is such a big part of who we are. When we look good, our confidence soars. When we don't like what we see in the mirror, our insecurities take over. It's this relationship between our appearance and our self-image that has made cosmetic surgery a $13 billion a year industry. One of the most common procedures is breast augmentation, a surgery in which implants are inserted into the breast to make them larger. Rachel Sabato underwent breast augmentation to boost her self-confidence. I wanted to have breast augmentation surgery um, for myself, for confidence, to look better in a shirt, to feel better in a bathing suit. Um, although I'm married, to feel better in the bedroom, have a little more confidence, um, just to look better all around. There are two types of breast implants, saline and silicone. Many remember that the FDA restricted the use of silicone implants in 1992 after safety concerns. But in 2006, they were reintroduced to the market. In 1992, when the initial controversy arose regarding silicone implants, the FDA restricted use of the implants and conducted studies to evaluate their safety. Over the course of about 10 years, the safety data continued to come in and it continued to support the fact that the implants were safe and effective. And so with that data in hand, the FDA then allowed the manufacturer several years ago to allow surgeons to use their implants without restriction. When choosing between silicone and saline implants, women must consider all the factors. Silicone implants look and feel more natural, but in the rare event of a rupture, the leak can be harder to detect. As a result, it is recommended that women with silicone obtain an MRI every couple of years to ensure the implants are intact. Saline implants aren't as natural and are more prone to ripping, but women who have them don't have to undergo the MRI testing. Saline implants are basically water-filled implants, so if there's a leak in the implant, your body will relatively quickly absorb that liquid, and you'll notice, again, very quickly that one breast is softer and smaller than the opposite, so it's readily apparent. As opposed to silicone gel, which is a uh, substance which the body does not absorb, and since it's not absorbed, you don't necessarily then know that you have a leak because it remains intact within the pocket of, around the implant. After careful consideration, Rachel chose silicone implants. Now, when she looks in the mirror, she likes what she sees, and to her, that confidence is priceless. The surgery has improved my confidence tremendously. I feel that I look wonderful. Um, I feel, I have confidence that I, I just never had before. I, I, I love wearing different clothing, different types of shirts, um, bathing suits. I really, really feel great about myself. Um, and the way I look. The advice that I would give to anybody um, considering any type of cosmetic surgery would be just to research, be sure it's what you want to do. Another thing I like to tell people is to just make sure you're doing it for yourself. I did it for me and I feel great. The team at the Center for Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery in Paramus, New Jersey is committed to helping you reveal the beauty within. For nearly two decades, these professionals have delivered exceptional plastic surgery and skin care services to thousands of patients, including facial plastic surgery, body contouring, breast augmentation, and Botox. Our philosophy uh, here is uh, really, it sounds cliche, but it's really to treat every patient as we would our own family member. And um, everyone here really has ad adopted that approach from the nurses uh, to the secretaries and all the physicians who work here. We really care about patients and want to treat them the way we would any member of our family. And that makes taking care of patients very easy when you have that mindset. The Center for Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery is led by well-known surgeon Dr. Robert Zubowski. Board certified in both plastic and general surgery, Dr. Zubowski has earned a reputation as a leading cosmetic surgery specialist often asked to speak to professional groups and to the public about all aspects of cosmetic surgery, Dr. Zubowski has become one of the most recognizable faces in the area. Dr. Zubowski is an authority in the field of plastic and reconstructive surgery. He often lectures in front of uh, medical and professional organizations, both in this county and really around the tri-state area, nationally as well. Dr. Zubowski's reputation is second to none. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to work with Dr. Zabowski uh, in one form or another for the last 20 years. 
and uh, he is at the top of his game and is really the place where people get referred to for top level care. The key is that Dr. Zabowski recognizes that anesthesia is an integral part of the service provided here at the Surgical Center and really provides us with the freedom to practice as necessary to provide the highest level of care. And he is unique among plastic surgeons in that respect. The thing that I really, really loved about Dr. Zabowski is that when I went in for my consultation, he he told me like what was going to be a natural a natural look for me, what was going to be, what we could do, what, what wasn't going to work so well, and I, I trusted him. I have such a natural look, a natural feel. I feel great. Um, my recovery time was minimal, and um, my results are just, I mean, I get so many compliments. As new techniques and treatments are developed, Dr. Zubowski and the Center for Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery will stay on the cutting edge of the plastic surgery field. Well, our plans are really to continue what we're doing, but at the same time, evaluate new technology as it comes forward. There's a lot of things on the horizon in plastic surgery, some of which is promising, some of which may not be promising. It's really my job to evaluate that technology and when appropriate, bring it to the practice so that we can offer it to our patients. Let the Center for Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery reveal the beauty within. For more information, visit our website at drzubowski.com.